Hey, Martin. What's up, Emily? <laughs> Not much. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Super excited to be here. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> same day. Glad to have you. Thank you. Um, what got you started in modeling? Oh, um, well, it was actually pageants that got me started in modeling. I became Miss Eldorado County that I sought out that pageant because my older sister won that pageant title when I was like six years old. And so I sought it out and I ended up winning Miss Eldorado County back in 2018. That was my first, very first pageant. And then I ended up competing for Miss Sierra Cities. I won that title, did a few different prelims, just a couple of tiny other pageants. And then I did the Miss Placer County pageant, which actually gave me an acting and modeling contract. And I used that acting and modeling contract to um, do a whole bunch of different things. So I had so many different opportunities come my way. Um, right now, I have a lot of acting and modeling stuff coming up. I know I'm supposed to be in some short films and I'm walking for Mark Defang in New York Fashion Week and then also in Orlando. So I got a lot going on. Um, very excited for what's coming up. It's good. Looking <laughs> forward to too, seeing all those fabulous work of yours. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. And just looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit more about your pageants. My pageants? Um, well, I put a lot of training into it. I've competed in all kinds of different ones, like probably dozens at this point. I was Miss, uh, Sierra, um, Miss, I was Miss Eldorado County, Miss Placer County, Miss Sierra Cities. I held a couple different prelim titles, and then I was the California Cinderella woman, competed with Cinderella International a little bit. Um, I've done so many different ones. I've done IJM. Right now I have a Regency International title. Um, so that's pretty fun. I'm comp competing for a pretty big international pageant um, in July. So next month, I'm very excited about that. Um, and I have some other different things that are coming up. I'm actually thinking about doing Miss USA. I think I might do Miss USA in the future. Well, congratulations <laughs> on all your accomplishments and mm -hmm. um, good luck on Miss USA. Thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about your um, startup. Your Miss, uh, Miss Start, My Start Clothing. Oh, Smart Clothing? Yeah. So Smart Clothing uh, is a little tech starter, startup. I'm um, a part owner and I'm the chief of finance for it. And it's been around for about five years. I just recently got involved about a year ago, but I've taken a lot of, um, <laughs> a lot of the workload. And so it's, it's consuming a lot of my time right now. So essentially what Smart Clothing is, is it's a mobile, um, mobile application for both iPhones and Androids, uh, for iOS and Androids operating systems. And uh, what we do is we take NFC tags and we digitally encrypt them and then sell them to brands who embed them into clothing. Then the brands will go ahead and give them out to their consumers and the consumers can tap their phones to their clothes and it pulls up every bit of information about the clothing to them. We can put it in their digital wardrobe. It can, through our algorithms in our app, we can recommend clothing that's similar to them so they have lots of different options of things to purchase. And it's really cool to just kind of gamifies clothes. Like you have a digital wardrobe, you can report your clothes as lost or stolen. Like there's so much to it. And um, it's very exciting to see where the future of clothing is going to go. And I really think this is gonna be a huge part of it. Yeah, I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. And being a part of it. Yeah, I, I mean, I know you signed up as a beta tester and that is so exciting. Like I need as many beta testers as I can possibly get, like thousands if I can. So um, I'm really excited to have you be one of those beta testers. And if there's anybody else that you know, like I'd love to have them on board as well. Definitely, I will definitely pass the word along <laughs> and keep it in mind. Okay, well then thank you. And I hear that you're on a ranch, so. Tell oh, me a yeah. About that. So I grew up on a ranch. My parents um, bought the ranch, I think, about 30 years ago, and I was born on the property. I grew up there, homeschooled in this huge family. I have nine siblings, and all of um, my eight older siblings have kids. All of my siblings are married. I'm the only one that's <laughs> single still. And they all, they all decided to get married really young. And we have a lot of animals. We have some horses, goats, chickens, ducks, dogs, cats, everything you can think of. And uh, it's a lot of fun. We have a pond and we have a big green 
um, front lawn, it's kind of like a golf course. We do some weddings there and fun things like that. And uh, yeah, it's always been a blast to have that in my home. Well, I definitely look forward to maybe going over sometime. Yeah, you should see it. <laughs> definitely, I would want to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about your education. My education? So I have my bachelor's degree. I got it about two years ago. I graduated from high school when I was 15 years old. That's something people don't really know about me very often. Um, I don't really say that much. But I graduated from high school super young. And then I went to a community college for a couple years, graduated from there. And then I graduated from William Jessup University uh, when I was 19 with my bachelor's. And I was the president of the business club there. I did a lot of different community service you know, activities with um, a few different associations and I got my bachelor's degree. I walked before COVID, which was really nice because I actually got to walk and there wasn't any sort of restrictions and I didn't have to sit on Zoom calls for the remainder of my schooling, which is really good. Um, but yeah, very excited to have my bachelor's degree and it's something that I hope will, you know, move me forward with some momentum in life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's one of your greatest weaknesses? How do you use it to be your strength? <laughs> uh, good question. Um, you know, <laughs> I really like tend to overload myself with stuff. And I, one of my things is like, I feel like it's not, maybe it's a weakness, I don't know. But I always put and use every minute of my time wisely. Like I feel like I always am like scheduling stuff in. If I have a spare hour of time in my day, like there's something I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be, you know, cleaning the house or calling a good friend that I haven't talked to in a while. Like there's always something productive there. And, you know, I have to choose the better of the two good things most of the time or the a thousand good things. But um, I'm a very per busy person. And so um, that's kind of a, a weakness, but also a strength, you know, because it's like being busy is good. I just need to take the time to like settle down. And, um, I think yoga is good for me and some other things that I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to ask you a personal question. All right. What is that? What do you have your experience of in the short time you hung out with me? Um, it's been great. You've been an awesome friend and I've really enjoyed getting to know you. Yeah. And to continue to get to know me in a better way. Yeah, I, I'm, I look forward to a friendship together, yes. Good. Thank you for sitting down with me, Emily, again. Yeah. Is there anything else that you'd like to talk to me about? No. no? That's All it. right. Well, thank you so much, Martine, for having me. Um, this has been an absolute blast. And, um, yeah, all, all thanks go out to you and your family. Sure. Yeah. Well, it's been that Best pleasure. of luck on your YouTube video. I have so many good things to say about you. Yeah, thank you. Bye.